A lot of times we think some verses are there and don't really mean much. But it's those verses usually that have the, the gold in them, all right? And truly, okay, it said that they confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Why? Because they were looking for a city that couldn't be seen, right? Now watch. <clears throat> for they that declare such things, that say such things, declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out. And what does that mean? If they had been mindful of where they came from, if they had been mindful of their past, they would have had an opportunity to go back to that. But because they left that, didn't look back, and only looked forward to a city they couldn't see, what are they doing? They're turning their back on what they could see, on where they came from, and only look at that which cannot be seen except with the eye of faith here in this book. When they see that. Now, notice, then they would have had opportunity to return. What does that tell you? That once you decide that God is true, you get that? That what he said is true, then you can't look back. You can't look back to that. If he said, by his stripes you were healed. Now, you have to decide who said that. God said it. Can God lie? No. Then that is true. Now, he's not saying that you're going to look at it and go, oh, well, um, how does that work? Because you look all through the Bible. Sarah wanted to know how it was supposed to happen. Mary wanted to know how she was supposed to have a child, having never known a man. But they both kind of said the same thing at the end. Nevertheless, according to your word, be it unto me. I don't understand it, but what you said, I agree. That's the way it'll be. See, you don't have to understand everything to have faith. Too many people try to understand everything before they step into faith. You have to understand, first off, that you step into faith. That's what faith is. Faith is not understanding the how. Faith is only understanding the what and the result. Do you get that? Faith knows what the result's going to be. If faith doesn't know the result, it's not faith. If people say, I'm in faith, but I don't know what's going to happen, they're not in faith. Now, they may say, I'm in faith. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know it's going to happen, right? Now, understand. Now, if he's already said it's done, then you've got to say, here's what I know. I don't understand all this, but he said it's done, so it's done. That is faith. You got that? Now, let's keep going. That they would have had the opportunity to return. So once you decide, now that's the thing. Once you decide that healing is real, I'm just using healing as an example. Once you decide healing is real, then you can't look back and, and waver, okay? You, have to, you don't look back at it and go, well, but if it's not, you know, if it's not true, then what am I going to do instead? Well, if it's not true, what about this? See, you can't look back. That's you going back to that city you came from, that country you came from. You have to look at it and go, no, this is true. This is what's true. And then you don't entertain thoughts saying it's not true. That's why you have to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. People say, what is the obedience of Christ? Everything he was, everything he did, everything he said. 